because I set my 2,500 gallon storage tank a little bit higher on the hill than I initially intended on, the fastest and easiest way to fix that was installing four more solar panels and modifying the pump slightly to make it basically what's called an RPS 800. Again, I reached out to Rural Power Systems to find out if I needed to move the tank, and they quickly told me that they could help me solve my problem by just making a few adjustments. After doing some research, I decided to set the solar panels at what is recommended for the winter months. The angle is 56 degrees. Normally you wouldn't make the change until about the end of September, but I thought I would do this now. I had to pull the pump out of the well. In the process, I realized that I didn't care for the way I had it mounted, but I just want to get it going. It took me about 25 or 30 minutes to get everything removed, reinstalled, and put back in place. I can't say enough about rural power systems and their support. After getting everything fired back up, I rode the four-wheeler to the top of the hill and sure enough, it was filling up the tank. After building the first solar panel mount, I decided to add a little bit more bracing and beef it up just a little bit before building the second and third mounts. Because I had built the first solar panel already, I was able to pull measurements off of it, and the second and third definitely went faster. Between the 45 degree bracing I did on the horizontal supports and the horizontal unistrut I did at both the top and the bottom of the panels, I feel more than confident that it's not going anywhere. Now I recognize that oftentimes they will use two and three yards of concrete to ensure that these mounts don't go anywhere. We've had a lot of pretty significant wind over the last few days and I didn't even have the bolt set to see if it would move around that much and the truth is it didn't hardly even move around. I think most of the wind around here is absorbed by the trees and for that reason I'm not that concerned about the panels although I decided to go ahead and put corner mounts, ensuring that it doesn't twist and turn and move around more than I want it to. I feel more than confident that this is not only going to last a long time, but it will hold up to the winds that we have around here. By putting the horizontal unistrut across the top and the bottom, it really seemed to tie everything together and stiffen things up. Once I get the corner anchors pushed into the ground and get it chained off, everything should be fine. I finally went and picked up a compass, making sure that I've got these solar panels set at due south. And as usual, my phone was not accurate. I 
I find myself routinely thinking things like one step forward, two steps back. But I guess the solution to that thought process is just to take as many steps as I possibly can. If that means I make a mistake here and there, I'm willing to take that chance. I couldn't be happier with the way things came together, especially since I've had this in my head for the last two years. I will run conduit from the two outer sections to the intersection and then from the intersection down to where the utility room will be. Altogether, I've got right around $600 tied up in all three of these mounts. Sure beats the $12,000 I was initially quoted. Now that I'm done with the panels, I want to get all of these crooked trees in this last little section on the hill taken care of. There's a lot of really unique twisted maple that I would love to make into some sort of a stair rail banister or something along those lines. But I'd like to get this last little section of the hillside cleaned up so I can get ready for some grass seed. I happen to find a dug fir in the process and I'll make sure that I don't hurt that one and hope that it someday ends up like this one. It's been so dry that I don't know when I'll be able to start burning some of this. I've got Cedar and the kids coming up on Saturday to help me cut up as much as I can into firewood. There happens to be a wildfire just over the mountain burning right now. I finally feel like we're on the downhill side of cleanup. Hopefully by spring of next year, we'll get to see this side of the hill really come to life with grass. The scariest part of what I'm doing is thinking about the fact that I've got 37 more acres that are just as thick as this first five acres. I don't know if it's necessary to do what I've done to the lower five acres to the rest of the property, but I would at least like to cut some trails in so we can take the four wheelers back there or go on hikes.
This is what a big, beautiful, healthy maple tree looks like. Solar panels are finished. Um, super happy with how it turned out. I'm happy I, I braced it with the Unistrut. I'm happy I put those uh, 45 degree braces on it. It's been very, very windy uh, for the last three or four days. And these things haven't gone anywhere. They haven't turned. Uh, the one that I built a few days ago has not moved at all other than moving a little bit in the wind. Tomorrow, I'm gonna come up here and drive some anchors into the ground and anchor the corners uh, to where I'm not relying on the center post to keep it from turning. Um, I, I have, I'm gonna use the excavator and drive uh, something. I haven't decided what I'm gonna use yet, whether it's pipe or even just a T-post and just drive it way down deep in the ground and use some chain for anchor points on all four corners. Um, we would have to have some tornado-like winds to compromise the, uh, the um, mounts. Um, I recognize that most of the time there's literally, you know, a couple of yards of concrete used uh, to hold them down, but I, I, we don't have that kind of wind right here. And on top of that, I'm going to use the Unistrut and the corners to anchor it down. Um, the well's done, got the well figured out again, thank goodness. Um, I'm, I went up and checked the tank earlier. It had about six inches of water in it. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how full it is by tomorrow midday. Uh, but anyway, this is a big deal uh, getting this all off the, my back and I think I found the inverter which I'm going to use. So in the next day or two I'm going to start tying rebar for the addition, get the plumbing done and uh, get focused on that now that it's cooling off a little bit.